Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about 17 productivity features of this phone. The first feature is multitasking. For example, you open your internet browser and you are looking at this website but you want to open one more app. So what you have to do, just take out this edge panel and then you can select any app that you want to open. For example, I want to open the Samsung Notes. I will just take it like this and I can drag anywhere on my screen. For example, I can put on the top, on the bottom or in the middle. So for example, I will put here at the bottom and now you can see you have two apps working at same time. So you can work on both of these apps. You can also bring text or image from your internet browser to your Samsung Notes. You just have to select it like this with your S Pen you can just select it like this and you can just directly drag it. So for example I want to drag it I will just select it like this and I will drag it here in my Samsung Notes and here you can see I can use this text in my Samsung Notes and then if you want you can also do the highlighting if you want to point out something you can do it as well. The next thing is you can also make your favorite app combination. So for example you want to make uh, these two apps combo what you have to do just select these three dots in the middle like this and then you see this option of a star okay just select it once you select it here you can see you have the option of add app pair to home screen or apps edge panel so for example i select the home screen now it is added to my home screen so for example if i go back here you can see the combo is now created now i will just select it and it will directly open both of these apps together the next thing is you can open more apps in the pop-up view as well. So for example, I will take out this edge panel and then for example, I select this calculator. I will just bring here in the pop-up view like that. Okay. And then you can see you can also change its size and then you can also do your calculation and you can work on the app behind. You can also work on this app as well. And the next thing is if you want to see what is behind this app, you can change its opacity. Just uh, select this line and then you see this option of opacity and then you can see you can reduce the opacity. So now you can see what is going on behind. You can see the app behind as well and in the meantime you can also work on this app as well. The next feature is about widget control. So you can directly control your widgets from your home screen. So for example I have this Spotify widget. So if I want to play this audiobook I can directly play from here. I just have to select like this play option and you can see it start playing this audiobook and then if you want to pause it you can directly pause from here so this is how you can control the widgets directly from your home screen the next feature is screen recording so for example uh, you have a lecture going on for example i will open this zoom app and then if you want to take notes i will take out this edge panel and i will open microsoft OneNote here in this split screen and you are also taking your notes about your lecture now if you want to record this screen you can also do it you just have to scroll down this quick panel option and here you will see this option of screen recorder just select it once you select it here you can select any option for example if you want to select media and mic or you want to select none so you can select any option from here and then you start recording so after this countdown your screen recording will start so now whatever you do on your screen it will record it okay the next thing is there is a pen option in the screen recording as well so if you just select this pen option from here now you can point out anything in your screen recording okay so here if you want to point out something in your screen you can do it like this the next thing is you can also turn on your front camera as well so there is a front camera option as well so you just select it so here you can see the front camera is now open so this is the front camera here you can see this is the front camera so now you have your front camera available in your screen recording as well the next thing is once you finish with your screen recording you can just stop it from here and it will be saved into your gallery and later you can access it the next feature is edge panel so if i take out this tray so here you can see i have different apps available so you can open them in a split screen or in a full screen view but there are other panels also 
also available so if you just scroll it like this you have different panel options available so here you can see you have different shortcuts so if i scroll you can see there are different smart select shortcuts then we have this uh, screenshots videos new contact different shortcuts available so if i scroll more you have this weather panel and then we have this compass a reminder and then we have this clipboard option also available the next feature is microsoft office 365 app so for example i select this microsoft folder so i have this 365 office available i will open it now if i just select this create option so here you can see you have word excel powerpoint pdf forms so different apps available so i will select this excel app and in the excel i select this blank workbook so here you can see your excel is now open so here you can create all your sheets and then if you just select this arrow you have other options also available for example if you select this home option and then you have this insert draw formula so you can use the formulas as well so for example if i select formulas so here you have all different formulas available for the excel and then if you selected again you can also use your s pen to draw anything so here is the draw option so you can select your pen and then you can use the draw option if you want to draw something in your excel file as well the next feature is about pdf annotations so you can annotate your pdf files using samsung notes so i will open the samsung notes and here you see there is a small icon about pdf plus okay so here if you just select it it says import pdf just select it once you select it it will uh, take you to the destination where you have your pdf files so for example i have my pdf file in this download folder i select this pdf file and i press done so here is my pdf file available in my samsung notes and i have all the tools available at the bottom so for example if i want to highlight something i can use this highlighter tool if i want to change the color i can change the color as well and then for example if i want to use this pen tool i can use this pen tool if i want to write something and then if i want to create any kind of shape i can use this auto fix shape tool if i just select it and then if i want to create a circle i will just make it like this and it will make it neat for me and then for example i want to create like this shape so it will make it neat for me as well so you can do all your pdf annotation using the samsung notes and once you finish you can export your work in different formats if you just select these three dots so here you can see this option of save as file and then you can export your work in six different formats the next feature is smart select for example i open a website and here i want to select a specific part from this website so what i have to do i just select this air command icon and then i select this smart select option and then i can select any part for example i want to select this image so i can just select it like this and the next thing is you can extract the text from this image so just select this t icon like this and you can see the text is now selected now you can translate it you can copy it you can share it as well and then the next thing is if you want you can also edit this image as well so for example just select this pen and then here you can do all your editing okay so for example if i want to write something if i want to point out something i can do it here as well and once i finish my editing i can share it in different platforms and i can also save it in my phone the next feature is about taking notes on top of the videos so for example you have a lecture going on okay and for example you have this video and now you want to create notes on top of it so what you can do is just press this s pen button and tap on your screen two times like this and your notes will open and you can start taking your notes but you can see it is blocking the view behind so what you can do is just select this line and then select this opacity option and then you can reduce the opacity okay so now you can see what is going on behind and in the meantime you can also take your notes 
notes as well so if you want to use some highlighter you can do it as well you can erase you can use all your tools the next feature is s pen to text option so for example if you want to search something on google so you can directly use your pen to search it for example i open the internet browser and here you want to search something for example i want to search here hurt anatomy so here you can see i can directly write it like this and then it will convert it into the text and then i just select this go option and here it will show me the results you can also use this s pen to text option for url as well so if i just select it like this and now i want to open another website i will just write with my pen okay for example i will write here samsung.com okay so here you can see it will give me the suggestion i select this go option and then it will open the website for me so this is how you can use this s pen to text option the next feature is about modes so if i just bring down this quick panel option and here i select this modes okay so i have different options available for example i select this study mode so once you select it you can see everything will change the screen is now grayscale and there is a restriction for some apps i can only open open some specific apps that are related to my study so you can also customize it by yourself so you just bring down this quick panel and then select this study okay and then just press and hold it like this so once you uh, press and hold you can see the modes and routines option will open and here you can customize your modes for example if i just select this study so here you can see i customize this study mode according uh, to my needs here you can see i select this gray scale on i comfort shield on i select specific wallpapers i select this do not disturb option so all the different customization you can do it from here and once uh, you finish your study you can turn it off and everything will Will go back to the normal so here you can see the wallpaper is now changed and now i can access all apps the next feature is about scanning your documents so for example i turn on the camera and now i have this document i will just put it like this and once you bring it here you see this t icon so for example i will just select it okay and now you will see it will show you different options so here you can see you can extract this text okay so here is the text okay so here you can see this is the text you can only extract this text or you can select this scan option as well and once you finish you can just select this save option and after uh, you save it you can convert it into a pdf file as well so what you have to do just select these three dots and here select this print option and here you see this option of pdf okay so you just select it so it will be convert into a pdf and then you can give it any location the next feature is about s pen so guys the s pen has a lot of functionality in s23 ultra for example if i press and hold my s pen button like this it will turn on the camera and again i can use my s pen as a remote control to take the picture for example if i want to take the picture i will just press it like this and you can see it start taking the picture i can also change it to video mode by just moving it like this so here you can see it changed to video mode and now if i want to record the video i will just press it like this and you can see it start recording and then if i want to pause it again i will press it like this and here you can see the video is is now paused so guys i made a separate video about s pen functionality for s23 ultra you can have a look the next feature is translation feature for example i open this website and i have this text okay and now for example i want to translate it so what i have to do i select this air command icon and then i select this translate option and here you can see it is translating from english to french you can also change the language okay so what you have to do just bring your pen closer to the text okay for example i will bring this closer to the text like this it is translating from english to french okay and then for example if you want to change the language you can change it from here so all the languages are available the next feature is eye comfort shield so if you want to study or you want to read for longer period of times you can select the eye comfort shield option for example i have this pdf file and i want to read it now i can use the eye comfort shield i will just bring down this quick panel and i will just select this eye comfort shield so here you can see it changed the color so it filtered the blue light so if you just press and hold it like this it will open the eye comfort shield option and here you can change the color temperature for example if i increase the color temperature so this is how it looks like 
okay so this is the full okay in the full form and then for example now if i open my text so here you can see this is how it looks like the next feature is about screen of memo so for example if i lock my phone screen now for example you are in a hurry and you want to make some note so what you can do is just press your s pen button and tap on screen two times like this it will open the screen of memo and here you can take your notes and then once you finish you can just save it like this and it will be saved into your samsung notes and later if you want to access it just open the samsung notes and here is your note available the next feature is about writing on your calendar with s pen so for example i open my calendar and here you select this pen icon and now you can write on your calendar for example if i want to write something about this date i can use my s pen and i can write here okay and I can do anything with my S Pen and then if you want you can also change the pen so there are different pens available and then if you want you can also change the thickness you can also change the color as well and you can see you can write here the next thing is you can also use the eraser so here is the eraser option so if you want you can also erase anything from your calendar so this is how you can use it so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel Thank you very much.